Hey love bugs, this is Roz on back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My grown, extended, beautiful family. You know, hey, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And you know if you feel like the vibes and you know, feel like the video give good vibes or insight that you truly appreciate or resonate with please go ahead and share and give a thumbs up it will be greatly appreciated sending so much love light protection your way and as always if anybody's coming through to have any negative vibes that you're trying to have evil intents or motive is coming right back to you three times fall because I'm very protective so um, and I'm sending love light healing your way so back to the video um, what is the video I'm doing today? Okay. Uh, Twin Flame 101, hey, Okus, they didn't expect you to get this far. Uh, was not meant to, was not meant to be, uh, entertained. One second. All right, y'all, I'm back. I heard some noises and I had to go check it out. Um, yeah, it's like, um, they did not expect you to get this far. Was not meant to be, should not be entertained. That is so true. Um, we go through our life uh, learning, healing, growing, uh, finding out new things about ourselves every day, finding out new things about our surroundings, you know, our do's and our don'ts. Um, and a lot of times, you know, I, I've been seeing a post a lot um, talking about they don't stare at you in amazement or, at, or amazement or admiration. They're just trying to figure out how the heck, you know, you ain't falling into them traps. They don't place on you. You know, a lot of times you don't realize, you know, there's people that fear you. There are people that are intimidated by you. And I always used to, you know, that was like always a conundrum to me. Like, if they fear me and they're intimidated by me, why do they always constantly try to piss me off all the time? If you know, there'll be some people like, ooh, let me go ahead and stay clear of her. Or, ooh, let me go ahead and stay clear of them. But you have something within you, you know, um, that is really really something very strong and a lot of times it's just like they try to understand like how are they able to go this far they have gone through so many different things and people even though people may not like you they do low-key admire that because it's just the fact that you've gone through so many different things they wish ill will on you they do you know set you up for different traps and end up falling in themselves you know different stuff like that and they're really trying to understand you know I wouldn't have made it if I wouldn't have gone through this. I wouldn't have made it if this happened to me. I wouldn't have made it if this and this and that. But it was meant for you to go on. It's just like this is that chapter that uh, that's taking place into your life where, you know, you're going to be placed in certain events that is really going to be hard for you to process, like how it is impossible for me to be able to move on from this. It's impossible for me to ever get out of this situation. It's going to be impossible um, for these different things to take place for me to really you know step up and go and, and towards something else you know and a lot of times it's hard to do that but it's just like we work on this every day you know and a lot of times people hate you for the fact is that you are moving within your vibrations you're moving within your light you became that light of the tunnel you know a lot of times we we're looking for the light at the end of the tunnel not realizing we're carrying that light you know, and it all depends on us. Are we willing to be patient? And a lot of times I hate that word. Patient eventually and trust the process. You know, that, those are some words that's fighting. You know, and you go and do different things like that. But it's like every day, you know, it can be very annoying when you go through different things. And it just seems like it's not getting any better. It just seemed like when you out of one chaos chapter, here comes something else. And you had to become that peace. You be, you're, you're forming yourself and transforming yourself to be that piece that sits dead middle in chaos because there's so many different things that goes on in the world where they'll put you in a situation that you feel there's no way out there's nothing positive can come out of this nothing beautiful but some kind of way you are that walking miracle you're that that, that you, you are your own testimony you know on those things you hold that tea to your testimony and those are the different things that we go through in life where we're learning and we're growing from that you know you'll have so many different things you may be going through family issues marriage issues relationship issues relationships with yourself your children financial struggle you know there's so many different things that we're going through right now some kind of uh illnesses and stuff like that you're going through some kind of challenge right now that it takes patience for you know being able to try to pull out of a a, a 
um, a perspective like what is the situation teaching me you know instead of it saying it's happening to me it's happening for me what is it helping me do you know a lot of times when we're that one it has so many different things coming at us you like you have to be you know some of us are in karmic cycles that means oh jesus you know karmic cycles is about as crazy as that on you know twin flames except twin flames is something that's creating something beautiful this is like a hellish nightmare you know and you're going through those things and a lot of times you're trying to understand why does god keep you you stuck in a certain situation because they'll try to say you know you can't heal in a place you got sick at this place almost took me out for where I lived at, you know, but yet yeah, I, I heal every day. I become stronger every day, you know, and, you know, push myself, you know, a lot of times you got to push yourself out of that funk, you know, is we're allowed to have our, our moments where we're down, we're out, we're angry, we're frustrated, we feel, you know, de depleted, defeated, you know, but they're always telling you, you know, allow yourself to go through that grieving period. We're allowed to do that. You have permission to do that. Nobody can't tell you how to grieve. Nobody can't tell you you know, this is impossible, you know, but we have to be able to understand you didn't come this far to come this far, you know. And a lot of times it's hard for us to see that when, you know, the situation, because it's easier said than done. It's like, you don't know my life. You don't know this. I know I don't, but I know mine, you know, and that mess is hard as I don't know what, because I got to deal with so many different things at one time. And it's like nothing ain't light, lightweight. All that mess is heavy. And you bench pressing the heck out of it, you know, the heck out of that. You know, by going through those different things and people just try to understand, like, this person, I, you know, I don't wish some ill will on them or I don't put some different hexes and curses on that person. I don't let, you know, I don't put some, you know, graveyard dirt on a, on a person's, their essence. And they're still trying to understand how anybody else would have probably just, they don't have a hashtag. And they'll be on the back of somebody's dad on uh, back of their car, you know, in remembrance of, you know, but with you. You had to go through the darkest moments. You went through the trenches like constantly, back to back to back to back. And you learned so much from it. You had to go through anger. You had to go through disappointment. You had to go through delays after constant delays. It just seemed like when you heal off of one thing, here come 10 more coming right behind it. Hey, you still got some more. And you think it would be just like you washing dishes on, on, on holidays. And you're like, oh, my God, yes, this is the last spoon. And next, you know, three other plates come in. I'm like, are you serious? You watching them things your daggone self. I don't sit up here and clean up the whole daggone kitchen. You come in here with three plates. I don't think so. You know, it would be one of those type of moments. And that's what it constantly feel like. Because it's just like, you, you know, you can be telling God, like, God, dog, you don't think I've been through enough? Like, do, 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 do you ever stop? Can you ease up on the stress a little bit? Can you can you stop with the chaos and the daggone drama? Can you ease up a little bit? And it was like, I put my toughest, toughest soldiers through the toughest battles. And this is where, you know, times get hard, but you come harder. You know, these are the things that's going to make you a beast. This is going to th be the thing where if somebody can say you this, this, and that, this, and that, and you come so sure of yourself, it's like, oh, I know who I am, and that's not it. You know, you're like, oh, girl, did you hear how, what they said about you? Or you heard this about you? Or, man, did you hear this? And it gets to that point where you don't work so much on yourself. That's not even going to phase you. You know, like I told uh, uh, in the last video, when you become so positive, you know, negative is not going to want to be around you, you know. Or you becoming such so sure of yourself, nobody can't come in and tell you who you are. A lot of people know who you are, but they know the old you, you know. So they still try to play those different moves on you from the old you, and you don't grow up. There'll be different things that don't stuck out them red flags. I know what toxicity feel like. I know what passive aggressive feels like. I know what fear of project projection feel like. I know what low self esteem and um, intimidation and fear feel like. You know, oh, okay, that's what you're doing. Oh, okay. You ain't gonna say nothing. No. That is my response. I, I, I observed that mess. I'm not absorbing nothing. That is not my fight. Just because you're a warrior don't mean every war is your battle. Okay? You fight in your own war. People feel like since we're empath, we gotta heal people. That's not our job. What you supposed to do is leave that, that little pea seed of knowledge. And they have to do what they want to deal with it. You just send love and blessings that way. You even have to do that with your enemies. You send love and blessings that way. Because it's just like when you go through language like that, they used to, that the language they're used to translating and they're fluent in is when you're yelling back. If somebody's triggering you, you trigger them back. If they say something, hit below the belt, you hit even lower. But when you're allowing yourself, you know, they're coming up and it's like, God bless you. I still love you. Much love. I'm praying for you. 
You know, and when you do that, it irritates the shit out of them. Excuse me, it irritates the mess out of them when you do that because they don't know how to speak in love language. They speak in toxic language, you know, tra traumatic language, chaotic, you know, language. And you're doing that, you know, because a lot of times I've, I've done it and I heard other people do it, you know, especially if you're in narcissistic situations and, you know, um, you, you talk bad about them and thinking that's going to hurt them. You have to understand if people are narcissists, they're already living through their pain. You can't hurt them anymore. Only way you can really just really get up under your skin is you start doing you. You start pre pre uh, placing boundaries. You allow yourself to ignore them. You know, narcissists don't like being ignored. They have to be the center of attention 24-7. It's all me, 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 me. Okay, that's what it is. It's all about self. So when you're allowing yourself to say, okay, th this is not my language. This is not, you know, this is not no, no, no frequency or vibe that I speak through. I don't move through that type of vibration anymore. And it's just when you're going through these different things in your life, you know, you know, and it's just like so many different things to sent to destroy you. And when, you know, you're really going through the heaviness, a lot of times you got to just shake yourself out of it. And it's just like, look at how many things I've overcome that I don't even know how I was able to face this. You know, I've gone through so many different things. There's people that I've met here that is just like, it, it's like an instant routine of somebody passing away that's around you like day after day after day after day and you're you're still trying to see some kind of goodness that's coming out of this world when you have lost so many people around the way especially people that you cared about people you hold dear to your heart you know or you every every time that you connect with somebody somebody's love bombing you and you're still trying to find that vibration to project love towards other people even when it wasn't projected towards you and that's the reason why you were picked for that you know a lot of times yeah we can get bitter you know from the life that we you know we have uh, indulged or you know consumed or whatever we we been exposed to a lot of people have trust you know trust issues up you know it's hard to let people in I'm like that you know I, I keep people from a distance at, at times you know because it's hard for me to keep friends like that you know so it was just like for me playing it safe I you know especially you know doing what I do I just help people and go about my business you know it's not like you know I don't. I feel myself better than other people, but it's safe for me to not get hurt. But then it's at that point where you have to, a lot of times you got to live a little bit because some people are worth getting hurt for, you know, and they be like, what you mean? And, you know, if people are trying to understand you. It's not like people are trying to manipulate you, belittle you, disrespect you, you know, make you feel like you're worthless or unworthy of anything. But a person, you know, some people unintentionally. You know, they hurt you. That's what relate. Re it happens in every relationship. You're gonna have your spat. You're gonna have a disagreement. You're gonna disagree to agree. You know, but if they're real solid friendships, there's a lot of times you don't have to talk about something that's very uncomfortable. You know, if this is your people. You know, and I always, you know, it was about a situation with me and way I felt. I said, you can't be a friend if I can't tell you about my situations I'm going through, and then you place judgment after I do that. That's not a friend to me. You know. If I'm going through something hard and it's already hard for me to talk about and I'll tell you that and then you treat me like the rest of the people that claim they weren't going to do it and you do it, that makes me not want to talk to people anymore because they got too much and it was like I had to learn to be my own friend because it's just like after I went through my spiritual awakening before it was like oh my god I can't be alone with my thoughts and I realized that's what I needed to be alone with my thoughts and I didn't want that it made me very uncomfortable because of the gifts that I had I didn't know I was aware of that were very sensitive being able to read people's vibes sometimes you can hear their thoughts you know different stuff like that and that felt very you know mental to me but then when I went through my situation of grief and understanding about myself from different forms you know, I start picking up, you know, these things were seen as a mental illness towards certain people, but then not realizing this is actually a beautiful gift, even though it's like it, it held some curses, you know, but these are the different things that you that's been placed on your person because we have a lot of them. They just can't come up all at one time. We're in human soup. Shoot, we end up spontaneous combusting that way if all those things come up at one time. But these are the different things where you have made it so far and people are just looking like, how were you able to do that? You don't know how much stuff I've been saying about you. You don't know how much stuff I've been doing about you. I've been lighting candles every day on your butt by making sure you, you fall up some, some kind of way. And this mess make you stronger. You know? Yeah. Because if you're protected, a lot of things that come in contact with you is going to strengthen you anyway. You know, it may not be easy. It, you know, it may not be fun. But these are different situations where you're seeing the true intentions out of people. 
that, you know, maybe once you care for, ones you hold dear, you know. Or then you seeing how people really feel about you. You know, it's like a drunk person speaking sober mind. This is what that person felt about you all the time. Or just seeing how people treat you when they get mad. And how they talk at you. You know, what they say about you. You know, hitting below the belt. And then that's showing you. When you see a person mad and they don't change, like, look, I love you, but right now I'm going to eat my space. I'm, I'm trying to be discerning. I'm trying to be mindful. Because if I say something, I, it's like, you can forgive me, but you're going to still remember what I said. So let me go ahead and go back. But I still love you, though. But you're working on my nerves. But I'm about to walk over here. You know, I'm going about my business and go woo side for a minute over there. And you stay over on that side. You know, and be that point. And then when you can come back and be cool with somebody, that lets you know, this, these are my type of people. Even when I'm upset with you, they still love you. They don't do little things that, you know, hurt you and that stuff going to be stuck with you. Even if somebody apologized, those words were already there. Those words were already, you know, there. They'll be just like, you know, if somebody cheats on you. I had to be at that one because it happened on both ends, you know, constantly. But it comes to that point where when, you know, some people, they were meant like, okay, that happened, you know, and they never did it again. But it's just like a broken plate. You can glue it all back, but it ain't going to look the same. It ain't going to feel the same. It, you know, it's broken, but it's all mended back together. And it came to that point. You know, you have to be very selective about the things, how you move on different things and how you're learning on different things. And it's just like, you know, it, it comes to that point where we've been fighting constant battles back after back after back after back. And you tired. You know, I'm like, I'm tired, boss. I'm really tired. <laughs> you know, well, can I take a break for a minute? Can I do this? And, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, all you doing is videos. What is that? You pushing out energy. You're opening up to source, and that takes rotating energy. And that mess is, you know, draining, you know, because a lot of times you're channeling at the same time. And with everything that's going on, you're healing. You're allowing yourself to come terms to terms with a lot of things. We're all going through a grief process. People think when you're going through grief process because something died, someone died, or a pet died, or somebody like that. No, it's a part of you that's dying that you're rebirthing something else. And that takes a lot. Because, you know, you, you, you're probably facing a lot of different things in your life that's very triggering. You know, you don't want to go down that road. That's why it's so hard for a lot of people to come to terms and heal with that. Because that, that's opening up a whole wound. Like, you have a big giant scar there. And it's just like you ripping that mess right back open. And, and you got to go doctor all right back up to health. But this time you got to use ointment. You got to make sure you keep it clean. Put fresh dressing on it. All that stuff. It's just like you're doing with life. You know, and it's just like with everything that's going on right now with the retrograde, everything is heightened. That's the, that's why they say just a hey, speak less. You know, get to the point, speak your truth. You know, being one with your power, make sure you're shielding yourself up. You know, don't don't be you know interacting with toxic situations if you can help it. You know, stay to oneself. Because it's like, you know, a lot of times it's hard to be in solitude. You know, like I said, I used to always be around people. I don't even know how I used to go to clubs. Because it's like now since I work, I, I can't even be, you know, it, even going to PTA meetings back. You know, when my kids were in school, make me nervous. It's like, uh-uh, we go to the hospital. I, uh, let me go let me go call these people, this and this and this and that. You know, my daughter would be, man, you ain't consoling me. You're not this. I can't sit in this hospital. I feel too many different things. I'm seeing things and I'm hearing things. I can't be in here right now. God, give me a moment. And I didn't know the reason why I was like that. You know, but it's just like so many different things you go through in life, you know, and it, it can be hard. I talk to some of y'all like, Rosalind, I got this person, that person, this person at me. You know, I go to work. I got to deal with it. When I come home, I got to deal with it. And the mess is exhausting. You know, people can be a little bit obnoxious sometimes. Trust me, I know. You know, and you have to be able to understand these trials and tribulations you're facing with these people. These are going to be the main thing that's going to give you that level up that you never thought about. Because then it's just like when you know yourself and you really know yourself, what other people say to you ain't going to bother you because you know who you are to the core. These people think they know who you are to the core. Like I said, then people play you on that old you and not even addressing the new you. They don't know how to. Because it's just like, I don't even, I don't know that person. I don't know who you're talking to. It's like, you don't know that I'm not that person anymore. That's like you robbing a house I don't even stay in anymore. You know, somebody else probably popped cap in that, but you know, but I'm just saying. You know, there'll be different things where people try to approach you with that same old person you were before you were healing. Before you, you know, you're taking accountability. You know, you being honest with yourself, being very transparent. 
you know, then you were probably imbalanced, you know, all, it got to be just ribbed up all the daggone time, you know, all that, you know, just got blah, 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 you know, rah, 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 whatever, and you and that person, like, you, where, where's Waldo? Waldo found his peace, you know, it'd be one of those things, like, where's Waldo? You found his peace, he, he over there somewhere meditating, you know, and doing all those different things, uplining his chakra. <laughs> you know, dealing with his karma. You know, dealing with those different things. But you're going through your stuff knowing, you know, you, I mean, you good. You're a bad mother, shut your mouth. You know, it's one of those different things because it's just the fact that you got a stubborn heart. You got a brave soul. It'd be different things that you do. And you be like, I quit. I'm done. I, I'm tired. I'm this and I'm that. And you get up the next day or you apologize to God. Nope. You ain't got nothing to say to the universe. Nope. You gonna start back today? No. Then you go over here. Let me go over here and meditate. God, dog. I'm sorry. You know, be one of those different moments. Because they know no matter what, your soul ain't gonna stop. I don't care what you face, what people try to do. You know, they can't take away what, what's meant for you. You know, through those moments of healing, you, you get empowered by that. You are not getting empowered by triggering people. You're not getting empowered by talking bad to people. But you get empowered by giving love out to people. Being kind. You know, you see different people that are doing that. Like, you know, they, they get people upset. They get riled up because that's how they, they juice themselves up. And, you know, you got to be very, 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 very careful right now. Because there's so many people that are trying to... You got these inner energy uh, vampires and parasites. Succubus and incubus. You know, you're dealing with. And your, your vibes, your energy is very sacred. It's very precious. You know, you're going through these recycle moments. So they pitch up and then it comes right back, back down. Pitch up, go right back down. You lucky if you stay in moderation just like in, in that vibe you know and you're doing that but you, we're doing a lot of clearing right now so it can it can get very uneasy easy so it's just like you already know if you're going it's about to get wild just think about when you're dealing with a narcissist this unhinged <laughs> you already know like shield you got up i don't understand i don't talk like that you know <laughs> like I, 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 I don't speak that language you know, you have to do that. But there will be a lot of times, you know, you're going to be hated because there will be so many different times. People are going to dug ditches for you, dug graves for you, and end up falling in day dag on self. You know, because you were built for this. You were made for this. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. You know, keep on going. Keep inspiring yourself. You never know. You're, you, you are that inspiration that can really inspire other people. And it's true. You know, you never know. You can really inspire a lot of people. You, so you got to go out there and tell your story, helping other people out because they come in your way. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Give my post notification shout out. Like I said, y'all know there was a lot of new people that just subscribe and I haven't ch had a chance to uh, reply back to your comments that y'all dropped. So I do apologize. Uh, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Grayson Luster and new type uh, genre the genre and um jesse b much love to you all welcome to the fam it's good to have you you know it's a blessing that our our tribe is growing a lot more you know just being able to level up and come and support with one another being able to give an understanding because other people be you know we speak in gibberish to them so you know it, it's all about spiritual networking i leave all my contact information in the description box below you know it's just about to share about different things that we got going on in our life or if you need just you know an insider on something uh, you know, you want to hear from me or whatever. I know a lot of people share that stuff with me. And it's just a blessing that God helps me to help you, you know, understand your purpose on a deeper, deeper level. You know, whatever I can do to help, uh, I'm greatly, I'll try my best to be able to do that. Whatever we speak on is confidential. So if you're interested in uh, podcasting, I also have mine in the community community section of my channel, as well as, you know, Empath Memes or just a little poster, you know, uh, uh, what is it atmosphere changes that we're going through you know different things is taking place right now uh, with the uh, was it retrograde going on so it's just getting real crazy um, and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app is there as well whatever you're trying to manifest into your life I'm sending so many beautiful vibes towards two million fold you know just to be able to help you out you know i know a lot of times when we're working hard on something it just feel like it's never going to unfold for us we see everybody else get it and we don't but you have to stay consistent and persistent. You don't know what's around that corner for you. You have true potential. You gotta, you know, stay stay dedicated towards yourself more than ever before. You gotta work harder than you have before. You have true potential. 
devil sees that, your enemies see that, because they'll do anything they can to try to make you second guess yourself and make you think that good things aren't coming your way. They could be telling you this today just because they know your blessings may be coming through tomorrow. So make sure you keep on going because you truly deserve it. And whatever you're doing, you matter. Your purpose is here and it's truly needed. Much love to you. Namaste. Uh, I say shalom. God bless. Love you. Peace.